Aaron Goyle last updated 2200 the 15th of February 2019 Sky Sports CEO Tomkinson is red carded for a shoulder charge on Brody Retallick. Michael Bradley, Getty Images Ben Smith congratulates Aaron Smith on the try that gave the Highlanders victory over the Chiefs in Hamilton. Bruce Lim, P-H-O-T-O-S-P-O-R-T Highlanders CEO Tomkinson gets a red card from referee Glenn Jackson for his hit on Brody Retallick. Michael Bradley, Getty Images eating Nanai Cetero scored two tries on debut for the Chiefs. Michael Bradley, Getty Images Josh Dixon celebrates a try for the Highlanders, who overcame a red card to snatch victory against the Chiefs. Michael Bradley, Getty Images Chiefs captain Brody Retallick takes on the Highlanders' defense. Rugby A 14-man Highlanders side have pulled off a stunning late comeback win over the Chiefs in the Super Rugby season opener in Hamilton on Friday night. Two tries on debut to Chiefs winger Eden Nanai Cetero, along with a couple of baffling refereeing calls, look to have sunk the visitors at FMG Stadium Waikato, but not even a red card to see if Tomkinson could stop them coming up from 30-27 late on. The Highlanders started the better, before the Chiefs stole all momentum to lead 19-10 at halftime, but a try in the dying stages to Aaron Smith, off the bench, sealed a remarkable come-from-behind victory, to stun the 12,238 fans. When Tomkinson was surprisingly given his marching orders by referee Glenn Jackson in the 68th minute for not using his arms in tackling Chiefs captain Brody Retallick, it seemed the Highlanders were going to leave quite an aggrieved unit. Read more, asterisk no abs thoughts for Weber asterisk NZ's number 10 dilemma asterisk Kane's forwards must help Smith asterisk Crotty undecided on future they had already had TMO Aaron Patterson make a puzzling overrule after just two minutes for an on-field try decision for Liam Coltman and had to rely on the boot of Josh Owain to get them back in the game. That was before Smith darted over from close range to seal them a gutsy three tries to four win against a new look Chiefs side. Already deep into their first five eighth ranks, with former Blues midfielder Orby Leger starting in veteran Stephen Donald backing him up, and fielding a backline with an average age of less than 23, the Chiefs were then also forced into a late change, with Atu Moli ruled out with an elbow problem, just as the luckless prop was set to return following his horrific leg injury in round one last year. Add feedback it saw a promotion for Aiden Ross, himself also one of the ton of Chiefs propping casualties from 2018 while Tevita Mafilio got a debut off the bench, the former St. Kentigern College in New Zealand under-20s rep, who's now at Bay of Plenty, but yet to log a provincial match. It was the hosts on the back foot early, too, as the Highlanders, resplendent in fluorescent green, fired out of the blocks. Turning down a couple of kickable penalties, the Highlanders eventually got their reward in the 14th minute, with Perry Perry Parkinson barging over on the back of a quick tap from Kane Hamilton. However, the visitors' momentum wasn't to last long, the Chiefs sitting back five minutes later after Tyler Ardren charged down near the line then capped off his work with a great dummy off the resulting scrum to stroll over. And in the blink of an eye, all the momentum had swung dramatically, as soon after the restart the ball found Balin Sullivan, with the one-game winger putting on a spectacular chip and chase and having the bounce go his way, with Angus Tavau soon on hand for his first Chiefs try. With their confidence clearly restored, it got even better for the Chiefs a couple of minutes before the break, as Michael Allardyce offloaded well for Anton Leinert Brown, before Nathan Harris popped a beautiful no-look pass for Nanai Cetero to tiptoe down the left touch. At 19-7, the Highlanders all of a sudden had work to do, Owain pulled back penalties either side of halftime to keep the Southerners in touch, but they were quickly in all sorts as they coughed up a fourth try, with Luger having an acre of space to send a cross kick for Nanai Cetero to bag a double. Shannon Frizzell crashed over to narrow the margin with quarter of an hour left, before the drama really unfolded. At a glance, Highlanders 30 pair I pair I Parkinson, Shannon Frizzell, Aaron Smith tries, Josh Owain 3 con, 3 pen, Chiefs 27, Eating Nanai Cetero 2, Tyler Ardren, Angus Taivau tries, Brad Weber 2 con, Stephen Donald pen, HT, 10 to 19. Stuff.